keep a finger in, in number 287 because it will be part of the sermon today. Oh my goodness, so glad you're here and you remember that after the service you are warmly welcome to our coffee hour in Castle Hall. Let's pause for a moment and offer a silent prayer um, asking God to guide every aspect of our time together today. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires are known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. reading from Revelation. After this, I, John, looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders, and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne, and worshipped God, singing, 
Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these, robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to the springs of the water of life and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please pray with me together Psalm 34 found in your bulletin. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name forever. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me out of all my terror. Look upon him and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me and save me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encompasses those who fear him, and he will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who trust in him. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, for those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack the supper of hunger. Those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. from 1st John. <clears throat> See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when He is revealed, we will be like Him for we will see him as he is. And all who have this hope in him purify themselves, just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. 
Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who went before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Well, in that great scene that uh, we heard so wonderfully rendered by Grant in Revelation, talks about how the saints, oh, thank you so much, I didn't, uh, it's my adult helper. Um, the saints gather around the throne, and it says, by night and day, they worship Jesus. As a kid, that kind of bugged me. I mean, I like church about as well as any little kid can like church. But night and day? <laughs> For all eternity? You know, it puts me in mind of how my mom would say every holiday we'd all be around the table. Oh, just think. This is what heaven's going to be like. All of us together. And I would lean over to my niece and say, really, that's the reward? <laughs> I mean, eternity with these people? Well, obviously, what the writer of Revelation is trying to say is that Jesus is worthy of eternal, constant, never-ending worship. And he receives that in heaven from the holy angels, from the saints, and we, too, will partake in that. But if you think for one minute, that means that 80 years from now, when, when Grant goes to his reward, he's going to be issued a harp and a cloud, and he's just going to pluck on that harp for all eternity, and that's it. No, that's not how it's going to work. I don't know how it's going to unfold, but I believe that there is adventure to be had. There are things to be learned and discovered and wonders and the worship that takes place will flow in and out of that seamlessly. So don't for a moment think that heaven is going to be a bore. It's going to be anything but. And the saints of God come down whenever we gather around this altar. And when I say the saints, yes, I'm talking about Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary. I'm talking about John and Peter and Paul. I'm also talking about your loved ones. This is not only All Saints Day, but we also combine it with All Souls Day to remember all who have gone before us. And so for my homily today, I want to do what's called a litany of the saints. This has been presented in various forms over the years. I think it was originally um, written by a, a gentleman at Church of the Incarnation in Washington. Um, but I've tweaked it a little bit and added some things. It begins with the wonderful hymn that we sang. For all the saints who from their labor rest, who thee by faith before the world confessed, thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Holy ones present at our beginnings, stand here beside us. Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebekah, Jacob and 
and Rachel and Leah, makers of the covenant, forebears of our race, stand here beside us. John, the baptizer, the map maker of the Lord's coming, stand here beside us. Thou wast their rock, their fortress and their might. Thou, Lord, their captain in the well-fought fight. Thou in the darkness drear, their one true light. Alleluia. Alleluia. Holy ones who showed the good news to be the way of life, stand here beside us. Thomas the doubter, Augustine of Canterbury, who brought the gospel to England, Francis Xavier, Samuel Joseph Shereshevsky, Gladys Aylward and Hudson Taylor, all travelers who carried the gospel to distant places stand here beside us. Bernard and Dominic, Catherine of Siena, the scourge of popes, John and Charles Wesley, John Chrysostom, preachers in the streets, all whose power of speaking gave life to the written word, stand here beside us. Benedict of Nursia, Teresa of Avila, Elizabeth Ann Seton, Charles de Foucault, all founders of communities, stand here beside us. Oh, may thy soldiers, faithful, true, and bold, fight as the saints who nobly fought of old and win with them the victor's crown of gold. Alleluia! Alleluia! Holy ones who gave their lives in the care of others. Damien of Molokai, Martyrs of Memphis. Gandhi, the Mahatma, reproach to the churches. Dag Hammarskjöld, God's bureaucrat. All who made governance an act of faith. Stand here beside us. Peter of the Keys, the rock and denier of our Lord. Ambrose of Milan, who answered the church's summons, Hilda, abbess at Whitby, Robert Grosstest, the bishop of London, the protector of the Jews, Jean-Baptiste Vianney, the curiar, patient hearer, catalogs of sins, all faithful shepherds of the master's flock. Donald Castle, Stand here beside us. Mary Magdalene, anointer of the Lord's feet. Luke, the blessed physician. Francis, who kissed the leper. Florence Nightingale. Mayo brothers. All who brought to the sick and suffering the hands of healing and the comfort of presence. Stand here beside us. Pure Luigi de la Palestrina, John Mirbeck and Thomas Tallis, Johann Sebastian Bach, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Duke Ellington, George Beverly Shea, all who sang the Creator's praises in the language of song. Stand here beside us. David and the psalmists. Cademan. John Milton, the sketcher of paradise. William Blake, the builder of Jerusalem. John Mason Neal, preserver of the past. All poets of the celestial vision stand here beside us. Zacchaeus that tree-climbing tax collector. Brother Lawrence, 
Teresa of Lisieux, the little flower, William of Glasshampton, all cultivators of holy simplicity stand here beside us. And when the strife is fierce, the warfare long, steals on the ear the distant triumph song, and hearts are brave again, and arms are strong. Alleluia. Alleluia. Holy ones, haunted by the justice and the mercy of God. Amos of Tekoa, who held up the plumb line. John Wycliffe, who brought the scriptures to the common people. John Huss and Menno Simmons, generals in the Lord's army of peace. Martin Luther, who could do no other. George Fox, foe of steeple houses. All who kept the church ever reforming. Stand here beside us. Paul the Apostle, transformed by the midday light. Augustine of Hippo, God's city planner. Thomas Aquinas and John Calvin, architects of the divine. Karl Barth, knower of the unknowable. All who saw God at work and wrote down what they saw, stand here beside us. John, the seer of Patmos, Anthony of the desert, Julian, the anchoress at Norwich, Hildegard, the sibyl of the Rhine, Meister Eckert, Bernard of Lourdes, Brennan Manning, all who were called to see the master's face stand here beside us. Johnny Appleseed, mad planter of Eden, sojourner truth, pilgrim of justice, Benedict Joseph Labre, priest and panhandler, Martin Luther King, Jr had a dream. All whose love for God was beyond containment stand here beside us. The golden evening brightens in the west. Soon, soon to faithful warriors cometh rest. Sweet is the calm of paradise for the blessed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Holy ones who died in witness to the Christ. Justin, Ignatius, and Polycarp, who refused the incense to Caesar, stand here beside us. Perpetua and Felicity, torn apart by beasts in the arena, stand here beside us. Thomas Cranmer, Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley burned at Oxford stand here beside us. Maximilian Kolb and Edith Stein put to death at Auschwitz in the place of others stand here beside us. James Reeb and Jonathan Daniels and Michael Schwerter, Medgar Evers and Viola Liuzzo shot to death in the South. Stand here beside us. Janani Luum shot in Kampala. Stand here beside us. Oscar Romero shot to death while celebrating mass in San Salvador. Stand here beside us. Martyrs of Rome, of, of Lyon, of Japan, of Uganda, of Ecuador. Stand here beside us, martyrs of everywhere. But lo, there breaks a yet more glorious day. The saints triumphant rise in bright array. 
king of glory passes on his way. Alleluia. Alleluia. Holy ones of every time and place, stand here beside us. Glorious company of heaven, stand here beside us. All runners of the celestial race, stand here beside us. Mom and Dad, Dick, Shannon, Josh, I invite you to name the saints you have known right now aloud or in your heart. chief of saints, stand here beside us. Mary, most holy, yes-sayer to God, stand here beside us. Mary, most holy, unwed mother, stand here beside us. From earth's wide bounds, from ocean's farthest coast, through gates of pearl, streams in the countless host, singing to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus, our liberator, creator of all, stand here beside us. Jesus, our liberator, redeemer of all, stand here beside us. Jesus, our liberator and friend, sanctifier of all, stand here beside us. Jesus, our liberator, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, stand here beside us. Father, 
We pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. They may be faithful in service of your sacrifices. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. Give to the departure eternal rest. Please take this moment to remember aloud on in your heart your loved ones who have passed away before us. We praise for you for your saints who are, have entered into joy. May we also come to share in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of the others. This morning we lift up the people of Israel and Palestine, yes. people of Ukraine, for Guinea and Ghana. tell us that if any of you is sick, let's call for the elders and, and anoint the sick with oil and expect God for healing. And Gwen's having a procedure is this week. Tomorrow. 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 Mighty God, look with favor upon your faithful servant. Go before her in this procedure. Prepare the way. Guide the hands of those who will minister to that they will be skilled and compassionate, wise and excellent in every way. Lord, may she receive complete and total healing 
that she would be filled with the energy of the Holy Spirit and used to your honor, service, and glory under the care and blessing of others, even as you have used her so mightily already. We thank you for our sister. We love her. And we know you love her even more. We commit her to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. When I lay my hands upon you and anoint you with this holy oil, and as you are outwardly anointed, may you inwardly know the anointing of the Spirit and the endless love of God. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Can I ask what time it is? <coughs> Let's all <laughs> pray for Gwen and Ken tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, I love you. You take care. You need them to call me. Okay. Sisters and brothers, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace upstairs. Peace, everybody. the announcements I have learned of a birthday, the youngest looking member of our parish. <laughs> oh, Pat, God bless you. I'm 87 and I'm still here. Yes. I think it was my second Sunday that Pat introduced herself and she said, I'm 86 years old. And I said, I got a liar on my hands. <laughs> The Lord be with you. I will also say to you, O good and gracious God, you have blessed Calvary so abundantly with so many wonderful people. And what a gift that has been to us. She has ministered here in so many different ways. And she lends her voice to our terrific choir. Oh, how we thank you for that. We pray that on her special day and in the year to come, she would know health and strength laughter and joy and peace. Use her to your honor and glory and to the blessing of others. We commit her to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless you, God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and happy birthday. You know, Hungarians are slowly taking over your church. She's Hungarian, I'm Hungarian, Carol is Hungarian, so I'm going to say in Hungarian, Ich bin 
We had the Christmas mark yesterday. Um, we had 10 vendors in attendance and a couple of illnesses, so we should have had like 13, but uh, we had 10, which was great. We had 947 people come yesterday. Great. So it was a, hot, about a, a little bit more than 100 than last year, which is great. And um, I found out St. John's is over 1,200, so I don't know, we're gonna figure out the, <laughs> <laughs> what can we do to get those three extra hundred people over here next year? But I want to uh, thank uh, Carol and Maggie Nolan, I don't know if Maggie's here, and uh, Kate and um, Jennifer, uh, my father-in-law, Ed. Uh, Eloise punched like 300 passports yesterday. She's just too tired. She couldn't make it. She's, she had a shift yesterday at the church. And uh, I want to thank uh, Bruce and Audrey because I feel like uh, whenever I was like, oh gosh, like, I'm totally out of gas, you know, or like I can't find a certain thing. I, I kid you not, I was uh, trying to find something and, and then all of a sudden Bruce's uh, wire rack showed up, you know, so it's just crazy. Uh, you know, um, so I'm so thankful um, for everything they, they did for every Christmas mark uh, before and after this. But uh, thanks everyone for your support and uh, we hope to have a better one next year. Thanks. Joe, thank you so much. That's terrific. Mark, come on. Oh, hi. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to remind you, if you haven't already gotten your uh, your uh, box, your shoe box for Samaritan's Purse, please do so today. You have until Sunday, November 19th to turn it in. And you can have a boy or a girl, ages 2 to 4, 5 to 9, or 10 to 14 years old, to fill this little box. So it's a wonderful project. I've been involved in it before. So don't say no. Say yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Barb. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Um, just a reminder to everybody, we have the cookie walk coming up, and it would be wonderful if everybody could do their usual baking, and if you could drop your cookies off no later than 2 p.m. on December 2nd. Um, it would also be great if we could get some people to volunteer for the setup beforehand. Um, right now we've got Pat, Stephanie, uh, myself, and Lisa that will be actually working during the cookie walk, but to actually get the cookies all set up so they look as wonderful as they do. That would be great if somebody could uh, volunteer. Thanks. What time are you going to set up? The setup? Yeah. Um, from probably 1 to 3. Um, Just wrapping the crates and all that? Exactly. So, thanks. And how many here are going to volunteer to eat the cookies? <laughs> <laughs> be honest. <laughs> Next. I'm just going to make an addition on to uh, Jennifer's reminder about the cookie walk. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody remembers or not, but last Christmas, our last cookie walk, uh, Sandy and I had a table of used, uh, lightly used uh, Christmas ornaments that were no longer needed. So this year we thought we'd expand it a little bit because we made some money and uh, uh, this year we'd like to expand it if anybody has any Christmas uh, decorations for the house that are still usable but you're not going to put out. And small, yeah, not we don't want anything this big. No inflatables. <laughs> no, no, no inflatables, please. But, uh, and ornaments, and if you could, you could start bringing them any time, we'll pick them up from the back. And uh, what? Yeah. Yeah, we got a box for the back. So uh, hopefully everybody will gather what they can and it's all all profit, which is really neat. And bake cookies too. <laughs> Thank you. Jim, senior warden. Uh, just a quick reminder, the new day by days are in. We have both sizes. They're back in the narthex. So if you haven't gotten one yet, please, please help yourself. 
couple of dates to put on the calendar. Please mark Monday, December 4th. I'm going to begin, uh, at the request of several folks, a Bible study for Advent. It will carry on into the season of Epiphany. It will be about the biblical basis for the vows we make at baptism. So if you are newly baptized, plan to join us. If you were baptized a hundred years ago, plan to join us. Uh, we would love to have you. It will be about 45 minutes, 50 minutes, and then we'll close with Compline, which is about a, a 10 minute service of, of prayer before bedtime. So who we'll are you at bedtime? Starting uh, December 4th at 6 p.m. Thank you for that. Um, if, if, if I get a lot of feedback that that's too early, we can bump it to 6 30. Um, are you going to make sure in the, in the church you it, it, Yeah, it'll probably be in Castle Hall, I oh. think. We, we want to be comfortable, so. Um, November 26th, which will be coming up in a few weeks, special guest preacher, the Reverend Dan Hughes, will be preaching about the diaconate. What are deacons? What's the biblical basis for deacons? And, and what do they do? And how does that connect with the gospel that morning? Dan is an exemplary deacon and a dear, dear friend. I will be here to celebrate the Eucharist. And then I believe it's January 14th, uh, Russ and Heidi Smith will be here to talk about their ministry in Chile and all the great work that they do. So please, plan to attend, bring your friends. Uh, a lot of people like to hear what's going on in missions, and so please invite them. Other announcements? All right, let's walk in love, for our Lord loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice.
desk here and let people come around. And I thought, I thought initially of moving it, but let's have that remain there as a reminder that they are here with us as we worship and are really more alive than any of us. The Lord be with you.
Christ our Passover, who sacrificed for us.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body of life, of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are your living heirs of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to the world with the message of your to love and serve you. of all his saints.